I got some weird reconnect notice. Friend, oh my word, it is a party today. Three reasons it's a party. That's why I put on my Fiesta shirt. Number one, it's Fiesta week here in San Antonio. It's kind of like a scaled down Mardi Gras. It's just like a, literally a party every night. So I put on my fun Fiesta shirt, one. Uh, number two, this is wild. Um, we just crossed a half a million friends here on Facebook. I don't even know how to wrap my brain around that. Thank you is how I'm going to wrap my brain around that. Janine, Sandra, good morning. Um, so that's number two. Number three, I'm finally feeling better. I was super sick last week. Something like not, I did not get out of bed for like five days straight. It was not the flu. It was not COVID. I have no idea, but here we are. I can talk again. Um, and we're going to cook the we're going to cook today. So before I get started, so those are my three reasons to be happy and partying this morning on a fine Thursday morning. So first thing I need you to do is type the word five, spell it out, F-I-V-E, into the comments. I am working on five ingredient meals this week. My podcast episode, if you haven't listened to that, you can listen to that here on Facebook. You can also listen to it on any podcast player, is all about saving money on groceries with five ingredient freezer meals. And I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how that works but I want you to type five into the comments and I will send you information. Tanya, I got you. Um, I have three videos uh, or three items from my shop on this video. I have a cookbook. That's the wrong cookbook. That's the 15 minute one. Did it tag it wrong? There it is. Okay, five ingredient freezer meals. Kelly, Tanya, check your messages later. Janine, check this out. This is my five ingredient freezer meals cookbook. And this is literally a like marriage of my two favorite things. The first is helping you spend less money on groceries. And the second is helping you get ahead in the kitchen. And that's what we're going to be cooking today. We're going to be cooking the slow cooker Thai peanut chicken from this cookbook. It's actually in the freezer. So I'm going to go get it. Please hold. I'm going to get it from the freezer. I actually made this on Amazon live on, um, what day was that? Tuesday. Okay, and I'm going to just do my best to show you how this works. I'm like, I wanted to do this as if I were doing it in my kitchen so you could see how it happens live. This is a bowl of water. This is a frozen meal, okay? This is four ingredients that we freeze. Let me give you the definition of a five-ingredient freezer meal, and it helps you save money because it's just a couple of ingredients, right? So it's a few ingredients, and it also helps you take advantage of when meat is on sale. So I actually designed all of my freezer cooking program, the My Freeze Easy Method, the apps, the cookbooks, like all of this is designed with helping you spend less money on groceries in mind. That is literally the foundation of it, okay? And how you can do this is this right here. When you see chicken on sale at your store, when you see ground beef on sale at your store, when you see pork chops or pork roast or beef roast, like you might be thinking like, oh, meat's so expensive right now. It is, but it's still on sale, okay? <laughs> There's so much in the news about like everything's going up, food's going up, and that's true, okay? But I want you to focus on the reality of what is happening in your store right now, and that is sales. Sales are still happening in your store. Okay, while I'm talking about this, I'm gonna get out my slow cooker. It's right here. Okay. And there it all comes tumbling out. <laughs> okay, so... With freezer meals, what I generally do is when chicken is on sale, I will choose three to five recipes and we double recipes. It's going to help you be faster. We're going to do two Thai peanut chickens. We're going to do two Baja shredded chicken uh, that I can turn into tacos or nachos or something like that. And we'll do two like baked Greek chicken or something like that. Um, so when chicken is on sale, I buy it and flip it into freezer meals. Okay, so here's what I want you to do right now, friend, before I get started with this. I want you to type the word five into the comments, F-I-V-E. You can see my cookbook is here featured on the video. Um, I will also message you how to join the challenge. I want you to try this for free. Like I believe in this so much that I want you to try it for free. If you know you already need this, grab the cookbook. That's a great place to start. If you're curious about how it works and what we provide in the My Freezy sort of resource and world, I want you to type five in the comments and join the challenge. It's completely free to do. 
you get the PDF download. Stephanie, I'm going to send that to you here in a minute. And it's going to, it's going to help you do exactly this. I'm just showing you how to cook this meal from the freezer today, but this is part of a bigger plan. Like pretend I, I've done this before. You can go back and look on the videos where I've done prep for like six meals at a time. I'm actually going to do it again on April 21st. So you'll be uh, more on that later. You can click to get notifications for when we go live here on the page. But on April 21st, I will be doing a five ingredient freezer meal prep. But this is just showing you how to cook uh, one of these meals. So this is a freezer to slow cooker meal, the Thai peanut chicken. The recipe is linked here on the video. You can save it for later. Um, also, you can type five F-I-V-E into the comments and I will send you information about there we go. There's also the prep kit. We do have a prep kit. We want to set you up for success with sticker label, sticker labels for your trip, your bags and all the things that you need uh, for your freezer meal success. So with a freezer to slow cooker meal, this is frozen. I actually prepped this on Tuesday over on my Amazon live show and I ha it's been in the freezer since Tuesday. So what I'm doing with a freezer to slow cooker meal is I transfer it to a bowl of water just like this. About five minutes is all it needs. So I transferred it quickly so I could kind of talk you through everything, get out my slow cooker, all of that. And I, I really want you to see like, this is what I maybe would have done at like eight o'clock this morning if I wasn't doing it with you live right now. But <laughs> this is literally how it works. Like I'll pull this out, put it in some water. I might make lunches real quick um, or you know, get toast going or go find somebody's missing school belt or whatever, right? You all know how the mornings go. But these are really that fast and easy to do in the morning, which is one of the reasons I love them. Okay, Megan, girl, check out your uh, your inbox here in a little while and get uh, get going with this challenge. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, all we need to do is get the ingredients to thaw just enough to separate from the bag. So what I can do now, I think it's about ready, is transfer the ingredients to the slow cooker. So this is four ingredients, okay? This is diced boneless skinless chicken breast. You could do breast and thigh if you wanted, if you wanted the mix of the flavors, uh, but cut up into small pieces and diced red bell pepper, diced onion, white onion, and peanut sauce from the store. You could make a homemade peanut sauce if you wanted to, but I'm just going with fast and easy, five ingredients, a fewer uh, grocery I, or fewer items for your grocery list is gonna help you save money. And if you can do a couple of meals like this with all chicken, when chicken's on sale, also gonna help you save money. Okay, so all I need to do is, I'm going to move this so you can see a little better, is just transfer this into the slow cooker. It's still going to be frozen, and that's fine, and I'm going to just squiggle out all the extra sauce out of here. And then I'm going to set this on low for eight hours, and that's it. That's all we have to do. See? Easy. Done. Next. What's next on my list today? I don't even know. But dinner's, dinner's going. Okay, so the rule with slow cooker meals, you can cook them from frozen like this. Let me just quick wash up. Um, and as long as you cook them on low for eight hours, I do not recommend the high. It's too high of a heat to uh, defrost. We want it to be low so it defrosts and has, uh, has time to cook. So with this particular recipe, uh, this is meant to be kind of like a stir fry in a slow cooker. If that's a thing, it can be a thing. Um, so... That is, let me switch it back to the book so you can see. There we go. Um, why didn't it do that? Let me see. I think, it's, I think it's doing a random assortment. There it is. Okay, so the Thai peanut chicken. Uh, this might need a little cornstarch at the end of the cooking cycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cook right now. It's going to cook on low for eight hours, so around 6.15, which is actually perfect timing for us for dinner. I, or probably around six, and I might even set my alarm on my phone. Do you ever do that? Like, you're like, I don't really trust myself to, let me see if I can get in the frame with the food. Let's see, I have a new little tripod, maybe not. Okay, uh, I don't trust myself to remember to do something. Like, I certainly will set the timer for like cookies and things like that that are in the oven, but like for like things that are much later in the day. Like I even set my alarm sometimes to go pick up my kids from school. Because my son often brings them home, but on the days he doesn't, like, I, I very easily could forget, okay, enough about me and my uh, mom timers. But So I'll probably actually set the timer for about six, so that with about 15 minutes left in the cooking cycle, I can stir in a little bit of cornstarch, and that will help thicken up the sauce. 
if I was cooking this in the skillet, I probably wouldn't need cornstarch because the peanut sauce um, already has about the right consistency. But because this is going to be slow cooked, there's going to be a little bit of broth and liquid released from the chicken, a little bit released from the vegetables. The sauce might be a little bit thin. So I think I will add in a little bit of cornstarch, maybe even just like a teaspoon or a tablespoon just to thicken up, at the, thicken up the sauce. And if I add it in that last 15 minutes of the cooking cycle, then it will have time to um, thicken up here in the slow cooker. You don't have to transfer to the skillet to thicken up anything like that. We don't want to mess up any more dishes than we absolutely have to. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. So about 15 minutes left in the cooking cycle, I'll stir in a little cornstarch slurry, a cornstarch slurry as I'll just take a little bowl, about a tablespoon of cornstarch, about a teaspoon or two of water, mix it up until it's kind of soft and, and a little bit runny, just swirl it in, chicken sauce. So what I'm going to serve this with is, I, I think I have broccoli in the freezer or green beans, some something green and just some brown rice and i will start cooking the brown rice about uh, 30 minutes before we eat in the instant pot so i love to do instant pot brown rice or white rice depending on the meal and i think i have brown rice for today so that's what we're having with this so that is a recap of how we go from freezer to slow cooker with this thai peanut chicken let me give you a quick rundown of this and remind you of where there we are hi of where you can get more information about all of this. So I do have the cookbook that this recipe is being featured from. This is five ingredient freezer meals. This is literally a marriage of my two like missions here in working with you and, and sharing with you online. The first is to help you save money on groceries. The second is to help you be more efficient in the kitchen. So if you can do a couple of freezer meals, when like let's say chicken is on sale or pork chops are on sale like all of those different types of recipes are in this book and because they're only five ingredient meals you only need a couple of other ingredients for your grocery list so you're just going to naturally save money because you're buying fewer things definitely going to save money when you're getting these particular cuts of meat when they're on sale okay so that's kind of how this works i want you to try this i have a chicken uh, all chicken recipes plan available for you it's shredded um hawaiian chicken sandwiches it's ranch chicken tacos and of course i'm gonna blank on the last one i can actually like picture it. oh like a sweet chili chicken okay so three kind of different types of chicken recipes you don't feel like you're eating the same thing over and over that's in my challenge i want you to try this i want you to see what it's like to put six meals together and into the freezer so if you want to join the challenge it's completely free to try you can download the pdf there is an option for me to mail some things to you. You don't have to do that. You can just download it and get, get going in the kitchen yourself to see exactly kind of how this works. So if you type the number five, spell it out, F-I-V-E, into the comments, I will send you information on where to sign up for that challenge. Um, and I'm actually going to get this cooking right now. So that's F-I-V-E. I'm going <laughs> to F-I-V-E into, I need to get this cooking so we don't have dinner at like 9 p.m. Uh, F-I-V-E into the comments. And then I will message you information on where to, there we go. See, done. Dinner's done. Dinner's ready. Lil, I got you, girl. Have you ever done the five, the five ingredient challenge? I don't know that, if you have or not. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, definitely going to want to check that out. You can see how easy that was. I'm going to run a quick recap for you. While I'm doing that, type the word five, F-I-V-E, into the comments. Share this um, if you want to watch it later. Um, I think you can send yourself a message on Facebook. It's been a minute. Also, you can check out the um, the cookbook that I have here linked onto the video, which is a cool new thing that Facebook lets me do. Okay, recap. This is slow cooker Thai peanut chicken. The other day, I put it together. It's diced chicken breast and or chicken thighs, one red bell pepper, one white onion, diced into kind of those big chunk pieces. Put those into a, a baggie and added peanut sauce about a cup and a half or so of peanut sauce. I saved a little bit back um, so I could add it if we wanted to mix it in or add a little bit more. If somebody wants a little bit more in their bowl, I like to save a little bit of a sauce like that for when we actually serve it. So that went into the freezer, those four ingredients together. And then just this morning, I took it out. You, if you can go back and watch the replay I did at the beginning of the video. Um, I had a bowl of just room temperature water and I put the frozen meal in the bag in the bag, in the water, okay, so that it thaws. It takes about five minutes for it to what we call quick thaw. 
And the quick thawing is just like if you were thawing your turkey in the sink because you need to get it in the oven. It's Thanksgiving morning. What are we going to do? We can't have our turkey. You thaw it in the sink and water. Same concept. It just helps speed up the thawing process. And really all I need to do with a slow cooker meal is get the ingredients to thaw enough to separate from the bag or container that the meal is in. In this case, it's just a couple of ingredients I need to separate from the baggie for the slow cooker. So once it's five minutes or so is all it needs. And then we're going to transfer it into the slow cooker completely frozen. That's what's going right here. The one rule, it's a food safety rule when making a freezer to slow cooker meal is it has got to be cooked at least for eight hours on low temperature. Okay. Um, so that is definitely something that you need to um, be mindful of. That is like, if you, if there's one thing you take away, it's cook a frozen meal from, um, from, uh, frozen for at least eight hours on low. Okay. So that's what I want you to remember. Um, when you're doing a freezer to slow cooker meal. So you can see it just is a cup. That's what I love about freezer to slow cooker meals. It's such little hands-on time. So in this case, we have a few ingredients. It's going to help save on groceries. The chicken's on sale. Um, and you you know, I can stock my freezer with a couple different chicken meals. And guess what that helps you do? You don't have to pay full price for in two weeks or three weeks from now when you want to, you know, chicken on the menu, you've already got options in the freezer that you've paid like the sale price for. Huh? Like, whoa, like just wrap your head around that. I'm going to be talking a lot more about that in the next couple of weeks. Um, this is the last, uh, I guess, video uh, that I'm doing on freezer cooking. We're going to switch over to some grocery savings hacks starting next week on the Aaron Shea show and on the Dinner Made Easy show. And I'm going to do a freezer meal prep just like the, just like what I've, I shared one recipe with you here today. I'm going to do a full prep um, in three weeks two weeks. April 21st is two weeks from today, right? I, being sick for so long, I really lost track of the days. <laughs> Janine, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that you've joined. That is amazing. Um, okay. Stephanie, please sign up for the challenge. Just type five into the comments and I'll message it to you. I don't have the link. At the, I can't like put it in here on the video live, but I can, I can reply when we're finished. So it's, it's one thing to like get a bunch of chicken. It's already kind of packed up into maybe three breasts or two or four, however many, however many you need for a meal and just toss the, the package into the freezer. Please don't do that. Okay. You're really just setting yourself up for annoyance in the future because then you have to thaw the package and then figure out how you're going to cook it. No, like you're going to be much better off if you do this challenge style where like there's the three chicken recipes that are going to make those six freezer meals for you. You can bag the chicken, add the other ingredients that you need, and boom, you're doing just what I just did right now, like the Thai peanut chicken, right? Does that make sense? So I hope that you will um, use this to plan ahead and see how it works, Stephanie. And if you continue to do that, I have lots of other resources for you. I would love to help you out. So type five, F-I-V-E, not the number, like you need to spell it out, and into the comments, and I'm gonna send you information about the challenge that's going to help you with this whole freezer to slow cooker situation. If you've never done that before, this challenge is a great place to start. We've got these great slow cooker recipes. They're all chicken. So you can get the chicken when it's on sale and you've really just set yourself up for success. Just like I outlined for Stephanie. Um, this is literally the marriage of my two favorite things, it, saving money on groceries and being efficient in the kitchen. If you, if we haven't met yet, um, I have four boys. Um, I have been feeding four boys on a budget and sharing it here online for 13 and a half years. So we've officially passed the halfway mark, which is just wild. Um, when I first started, I only had two boys. Now I have four. The two older ones are teenagers. I'm about to have a third teenager. I have a third one that acts like a teenager. Um, and so I get it. I've been doing this for a long time. I know it's a struggle and a challenge, not only to save on groceries, especially with recent inflation. Like we, it's, it's, it's so easy to immediately feel like I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't save on groceries. It's too much. You can, and I'm going to help you. I'm going to change gears and start talking more about that on next week's shows, Tuesday and Thursday each week. I'm live here on Facebook sharing different ways to help you 
very tangible, very practical ways. And actually, this is my favorite, is the whole buy meat on sale and flip it into freezer meals. It is just, I think, the best way to do it. So that's why um, we are sharing recipes like this with you on the show. That's why we're going to be doing a live prep with you in two weeks on April 21st. So if you want to join me in doing that, sign up for the challenge now, and we will prep all of those together live on the 21st. I didn't mean to share that with you this morning, but I am because it is coming up, um, and I'm excited about it. If you um, are on my weekly email newsletter that we send out every Sunday, uh, it's got recipes, tips, tricks, um, all kinds of different goodies for you. We send it out every single Sunday. I will tell you more about that that's upcoming in two weeks. So definitely be sure to check that out. I'm going to let dinner take care of itself right here. If you want to do the same, if you want freezer to slow cooker meals, or if you, I should say, if you need freezer to slow cooker meals in your life, because I know I do, <laughs> be sure to check it out. I have the book here featured on the video. I also have a challenge for you. If, you, if you're wondering why people are typing in the word five, you'd be like, what is with the five? I don't get the five. So the five, spell it out, F-I-V-E, is going to, uh, I'll send you a message in your inbox here on Facebook. You can check it out later with the link to the challenge. Just start in the challenge. It's the best place to start. Um, and you'll be on your way to freeze your success. Oh my goodness, words. Come on, words. Um, you'll be on your way to freezer cooking success. I have everything you need, the recipes, the shopping list, the step-by-step instructions. I'm going to break it all down for you um, in the challenge. So you want to be sure to check that out. And I'm off to my next my next task. Dinner's 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 taken care of. I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to set my alarm. I would do it right now, but my phone is up here. I can't set it. I'm going to set my alarm so I can add that cornstarch slurry at the end. Um, and I might even set another alarm to start the rice. And I'm good to go. That's it. It's going to be a great Thursday, my friend. Uh, that's it for this week's episode of the Dinner Made Easy Show. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was inspiring. I want to help equip you to make dinner easier and more affordable. That is what I am here to do. And um, I wish you the best and, and uh, have a great rest of your Thursday. And I will see you on Tuesday for the Aaron Chase Show. I believe it's going to be mid-morning. I'm not sure yet. Uh, Tuesday and again, th- every Thursday here, we're sharing ideas for dinner on the Dinner Made Easy Show, my friend. That's it. It's bye for now. We'll see you soon.